all right guys we are back with our how to clone pancake sub series uh again quick reminder if you do want something like this or any other web two or three project done as well as you can check out the courses down below um check in the description my contact information will be down below you can reach out to me me and my team will get it done for you but without further ado let us jump right into it um I think we'll start with like an oldie but a goodie changing out the logo so um, as you can see here we have our um uh we have our front end that we cloned from the pancake swap repo um so if you didn't check that out yeah go check out the previous video um we covered it twice actually one on linux one on windows um so fully covered um check that video out um get your front end and then come back here and then we will be uh, replacing our logo so and obviously by logo we mean this guy because obviously we don't want to like you know pretend like we're pancakes so we want to do our own thing all right so um yeah let's get our logo all right ah oh, yeah boys all right so logo all right so um yeah so you like we said we're kicking it off with something fairly simple deceptively simple um the logo um so last time i did this um kind of was a bit of a process where you had to kind of go and you know get into the ui kit and from the ui kit you had to change the logo um i'm kind of hoping it's the same so, so that my life will be easy but i'm not hoping for it this is why we made the updated stuff in case there anything has changed um yeah so let's just let's just see where it is so the first thing i did was kind of just get my logo here um you know you know guys know what's up it's the good old pixels you know pixel one pixel.com you know like good old pixels visit it check it out no pixel pixel one that swap pixel that finance all pixel logos um, that you see with this logo you know pixel that finance go buy your pixels we be rich we be rich okay um yeah we're gonna just try to swap a logo i'm gonna try actually swapping um let me see if i can just change the file i don't know sometimes like life can be really easy and you can just change the file um i don't like to do in code what i can do easier um so if i can do that i will and, and that's what i recommend you to do but um i will just let's just try it i just want to see if it works um i think the problem last time was that this was using a different file type than we were happy to use which it looks like it still is because i think it's um an svg which is i think maybe this here or it is okay but we want pngs and gifs we like pngs gifs jpegs you know um because we're cheap you know um i'm just kidding um it's svgs um there are file type you can use they, they scale extremely well on the web so if you know anything about them you can use them but if you guys don't know anything about it then um i'm guessing you're used to your pings your pings gifs jpegs so that's what we'll run with all right so i'm hoping now it's about the same so uh meaning you just change um in ui kit but i'm not certain so i'm gonna do actually i need my react dev tool so React DevTools is basically uh, React DevTools is like a, a plugin. Crap, I'm using Firefox. Um, it's a Chrome plugin. Eh, Chrome Firefox. I'm hoping it's on Firefox. So we'll see. Um, that allows you to like inspect React elements. You should know it. Um, it basically just allows you to see kind of like what React components are running and obviously there is a bit of react in this code base so we get it i've never used it on chrome so if i look um like i don't know what i'm doing it's probably because i don't know what i'm doing you shouldn't be following me i'm just kidding no i'm, I'm dead serious you really shouldn't be following me but um this is why we run through the videos all right so it looks like what we're used to here um toolbar up here if the ph has react i think it will React Dev Tool, blah blah blah. Maybe it gives a bit of an error here. Think so. Maybe that's a sign of it working. Yeah, I think the icon pops up or something. If it works, and then we can right click and we can should be able to see components. 
Um, again, guys, I am on my Surface Go. So I'm um, a bit of a slower processor here than we're used to. So loading times may be a little bit longer, but this is the cost of being on Windows right now, as well as traveling. So hopefully you guys can uh, make it through. Let me close out some of these tabs here to give us a bit more processing power to work with. I may also need to close this out for a second. All right, and I think, let's click on it, see what it says. This page doesn't appear to be using React. Now it goes red. This page appears to be using React. Yeah, happy life. It's very using development build of React, which is fine. We go to inspect. I'm hoping it's just a little bit like Chrome. The reason why I'm using Firefox right now is because I don't know, man. Like I like to change up browsers every now and again to kind of see which one is best. You never want to get stuck in your ways too much. Um, Firefox seemed like it was using um, memory pretty decent on low power devices, which is what I'm on right now. So. And so I'm using it, um, as you can see here, um, if the page has React, it's working with React, this thing here will appear red, the plugin, then you'll be able to right click and you'll have these two new tabs here called components and profiler. We're mostly interested in components because it shows us um, the components of the page, kind of like it would in uh, if we were inspecting CSS. As you can see here, we can kind of just look and it can show us the props and everything. and this is just something that I want to have um, so that I can know, you know, what component, what, what, what components and the component tree that's like um, displaying this element. As you can see, this is first displayed by my, this is rendered by my app, then app, then menu, then menu. Um, so it's, it, the code is literally in like logo in menu. So that gives me an idea of where I want it, to, I want to be looking in the code um which is what we want i think we'll still have to go through ui kit because that's just how it's been done but uh, let's see if they change anything all right boys fortunate for us unfortunate for our video pancake swap did in fact change up a bit of stuff um a bit to ch uh, make the build process easier for us so that's good um, unfortunately, you do see we are in a different location here in a undisclosed um, location in Germany. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right back. Um, so, you know, you're going to want to navigate to your, um, again, to change the logo, you know, real quick. Um, you're going to want to navigate here to one you have where you have your files downloaded. For me, it was like desktop, um, active pancake swap master, which is where I'm at here okay and then um you're gonna want to go to packages and then ui kit all right and i'm just gonna open that up in the editor real quick because that's what we'll need for changing stuff all right um so packages ui kit um source widgets menu um components logo.csx all right and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here um as you can see it's um back to our tool that we downloaded a second ago um click it you can see desktop icon or you know desktop icon just gonna like see desktop icon so this is here is what we're looking for you can see here it's like inner logo and the inner logo here is this thing here um we could track it down um the actual like svg all the way here in components at svg all right but and you can it's here um components um if you want to change the actual svg components um icons uh logo.tsx right and this will change up um this is the if you want to use your svg but you know for my people i know most of you guys want to use your pings and your gifs because you're old school you know you can try the svgs but um so i'm just gonna use that so i'm gonna go back to my source widgets um logo.tsx all right scroll here it's by this component here 
and this is for like the mobile and the desktop so i guess you know if you uh, different components so both i'm just gonna like use one because i one is suitable for me and again we're gonna bring back the pixel here so i'm just gonna do um image source um images you're gonna want to copy your image here to wherever you have it um to um to public images you can just paste it right here but i put everything here in uh, my little folder here called pixel um i see sarah is coming up behind me here um i'll give it in a second um but um sorry that's her little dog not not to be confused with jenny jenny to be featured in the next episode but um so yeah you copy your images here um you can put them here but i put them in a folder called pixel um images pixel and i'm gonna do logo.gif all right and that should have us swapped okay you see your compile compiling all right we're really big we don't want us so big uh, a bit hacky here but just you know just showing the swapping out of the logo boys it doesn't have to be perfect for now you you know follow good procedure here be good be good where i am not good okay that's a bit too big for us um really should be doing this in like percent i guess let me maybe i can do uh, percent here it's probably too small I kind of don't like how this is doing, but you get the idea. We are making changes, okay? All right, so that's how you change up the logo, boys. Um, again, a uh, quick reminder, if you do want something like this or any other web project done, email down below, reach out, me and my team will get you. Also, if you want to just an uh, in-depth, um, you know, um, how to do this stuff, um, courses also down below. Um, well, either way, reach out to me, me and my team will get it done for you. Um, I'm gonna leave this here, we'll pick it up back, and in the next one, we'll probably be change, um, going through like the back end contracts and stuff because I change the logo here. It's up to you guys to change all the rest. I'll probably remove all the branding here from Pancakes Up, um, in our tutorial, but that doesn't have to be all the way to make our video super long. You guys should get the general idea, all right? But until then, guys, I will see you in the next one.